In this video, I'm talking about treatment of partial rotator cuff tears with your own stem cells. Hello, my name is Siddharth Damber, the physician at Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine, where we specialize in your musculoskeletal health and wellness with a particular focus on treatment with the most up-to-date cutting-edge options available for arthritis, tendinitis, injuries, and back pain. Rotator cuff tears are a common issue that can affect the shoulder. They're a very common cause for shoulder pain as well. The rotator cuff is incredibly important because it helps to allow your shoulder to move in a dynamic and coordinated range of motion, enabling strength and flexibility at the same time. A tear to the tendons of the rotator cuff can lead to pain, instability, chronic inflammation, progressive loss of range of motion, and progressive disability as well. A full thickness tear of the rotator cuff where the tendons are fully pulled apart and retracted should have surgical repair. But two thirds of rotator cuff tears are in fact partial thickness tears. Those kind of treatments can be amenable to treatment with non-surgical treatments. And it would be worth your while to consider maximizing and optimizing those non-surgical options. This particular study that was recently published looks at that specific clinical scenario, partial thickness supraspinatus tendon tear. A recent article published in the Journal of Stem Cells International by Dr. Chris Centineau and his team at Regenix in Colorado specifically addresses a novel non-surgical treatment option for partial thickness tears of the rotator cuff, specifically utilizing your own bone marrow derived stem cell treatments. Quick disclaimer, I am an affiliated physician within the Regenix network. As such, I have a keen understanding of their processes, how they work, and have a great deal of value in their commitment to regenerative medicine and the utilization of orthobiologic treatments when it comes to conditions such as rotator cuff tears. So in this study, they specifically looked at patients who have partial thickness tears of the supraspinatus tendon. The supraspinatus tendon is the most commonly injured tendon in the rotator cuff, so it's a very appropriate condition to look at. They confirmed a tear on MRI, and they entered patients into one of two arms. They either fell into the control group that received strictly physical therapy and exercises for three months, or they put them into the treatment group, which included an injection of their own bone marrow aspirate concentrate derived stem cells and platelet-rich plasma and platelet lysate. A quick understanding of some definitions. Bone marrow aspirate concentrate essentially means taking a sample from your own bone marrow from the back of your iliac crest, the back of the hip bone, pelvic bone, concentrating that into a very high concentration of your own cellular material that has a high concentration of your own mesenchymal stem cells, hematopoietic stem cells, and other cell lines that may be helpful for orthopedic injuries and repair. They also took a blood draw and concentrated that into platelet-rich plasma, which is a high concentration of your own platelets. And they also created platelet lysate, which is essentially the growth factors on those platelets, and then augmented the bone marrow stem cell treatment with that platelet preparation as well. Within the control group, patients were treated with exercise and physical therapy only for three months. If they were not adequately improving in terms of pain, they had the option of being switched over into the treatment category where they would then receive their own bone marrow stem cell treatment. The treatment group itself was then followed for two years and they're continuing to be followed. And in this study, they published and described their results at each step of the process. And the most interesting and exceptional results were seen at the one and two year mark. So a total of 25 individuals were selected for this study. 14 went into the treatment category group originally and 11 into the control group who only had exercise. Of those 11 patients at the end of three months, 10 elected to then switch into the treatment arm in order to get better relief. The results of the treatment group were impressive. 
90% improvement at the one year mark and that continue to hold up to that two year mark as well. What's really interesting is that that group of patients will now also be followed longer term to see how much longer that initial benefit will last. Within the treatment group, almost all of them reached a significant level of improvement, which then held on for the next two years. There's only one out of 14 patients that did not reach that level. In the control group, 40% reached a significant level of improvement, but on average, exercise alone did not give an adequate level of pain relief, which is why 10 out of 11 of those patients eventually ended up switching into the treatment arm. What's interesting is that the majority of those patients who switched over into the treatment group then actually had significant improvement over the next two years as well. Lastly, upon repeat MRI evaluation by three different physicians, it was found that in the treatment group, there was significant improvement in the supraspinatus tendon tear and health of the tendon on imaging. So some really key takeaway points from this study. Partial thickness rotator cuff tears seem to respond quite well to bone marrow aspirin concentrate stem cell treatments. Significantly better than physical therapy and exercises alone. And if physical therapy alone is not sufficient, you can still respond very well to bone marrow aspirate concentrate stem cell treatment. And it can give significant pain relief as well. If you found this content interesting or helpful, consider subscribing to this channel or email newsletter. Thank you for your time, have a good day, and live well.